When you're walking along, you can get a handful of these bottle caps in no time. What are their uses in radio? Keep watching and I'll give you some ideas. Let's say you wanted to make a power distribution board. Just with bits you have around the house, well, you can use bottle tops. If you sand them, or you can use a file, then they're easy to solder to. Then you can have wires going to all the things you want to power. Here's our second use of bottle caps. It's possibly not very easy to see, but it's actually an electronic circuit that does things. We'll just zoom in a bit, and I'm using this bottle top as a mounting board. There's so few parts that there's no need for a printed circuit board. There's just one transistor and one resistor. And the purpose of this is a touch activated alarm or it could even be a doorbell so I've just got a buzzer there it's probably 3 to 9 volts a 9 volt battery and a transistor that operates as a switch the idea is that if you touch these two plates which are also bottle tops then you've got a small current flowing through the base circuit of the transistor and because the transistor is an amplifier it enables a larger current to flow through the collector and in the collector circuit is the buzzer so when you touch these you switch the transistor on and the buzzer sounds. As you just heard, it could also be used as a Morse practice oscillator. Now there's one limitation of this. I'm only using a single transistor and therefore the gain is limited. If my fingers are dry or I'm not pressing very hard, then although I'm touching, the resistance is too high to do anything, so I have to press a bit harder or lick my fingers. And that allows enough current to flow because of the lower resistance, turning on the transistor and sounding the buzzer. A fun and potentially useful beginner's electronic project, not requiring any circuit board. Just a transistor, resistor, buzzer, battery, and a few bottle tops. It's going to be clearer if I show you the circuit. So this is it. The important thing here is I'm using a PNP transistor and not an NPN. NPN is the most common type of the transistor, but PNP are also cheap. And the main difference between them is that the emitter is positive with the PNP, the collector is in the negative circuit, whereas with the NPN transistor, it's the other way around. Emitter tends towards negative, collector towards positive. And to switch the transistor on, you basically want to bring the base up nearer the collector this would normally be a positive supply rail if it was an NPN transistor but it's not in this case you are bringing the base to the negative and when you short that with your finger provided it's sufficiently moistened then that switches on the transistor and thus the buzzer something I wanted to show you is the current consumption. It is zero when the circuit is not activated. It goes up to about six milliamps when I'm touching and the buzzer is sounding. At 
As a result, you can use this as, for instance, a doorbell, and you can have the battery in the circuit and it will last for almost its shelf life. But note the limitations of this circuit. You either need to apply a bit of pressure or have damp fingers. If you wanted to overcome that, then you can use another transistor to provide some more amplification and that will allow the buzzer to sound with less current flowing through and therefore you can have a higher skin resistance and it will still turn it on. If you did want to build this and don't have the 1k resistor there it will still work but I just prefer the resistor in there as a bit of protection for the transistor because if you were to short these then that would mean a lot of current would flow through the transistor and there is a small risk of damaging it. So I've just got the 1k resistor in to provide some current limiting. Our third idea is this little ground plane vertical antenna. It's designed for UHF, 433 megahertz approximately, which is in the 70 centimeter amateur band, although you could change the dimensions here. It's based on a BNC panel mount socket. I've had to drill a hole through the bottle top and just in case you have any insulating plastic just under the rim, take that out because you do want good contact between the BNC and the bottle top. Also sand the top of the bottle top that allows easier soldering and so I've got two radials, uh, about a quarter wavelength long, and for impedance matching, ideally you would droop them down a bit. That gives you something close to 50 ohm. And soldered to the center is just fine enameled copper wire. Maybe a little bit on the thin side, but it does make it very light, and it also puts very little strain on the socket. If you have a handheld transceiver, you may need some adapters for you to connect the ground plane onto the antenna connection. Just using M0 UKD's calculator, for a quarter wave ground plane on 70 centimeters, the radiating element, 16.5 centimeters, and 18.4 for the radials. You can find this calculator at m0ukd.com. These are 16 to 18 centimeters long. If you want to operate this on a higher frequency, like the 476 megahertz CB band we have in Australia, then these need to be maybe two centimeters shorter. Conversely, for a lower frequency like 144, 146 megahertz, these need to be longer, around 48 centimeters. Okay, 3KRD, VK 3YE portable. Just trying a new antenna, nothing special, just on a handheld, and the antenna is actually mounted on a bottle top. Um, if you've got time, I might try another antenna to see if it's any different. VK3KRD, VK3YE portable. On the standard antenna, now on the standard antenna, any different? Uh, right, right, right. 
ocean plane. Now back on the ground plane though, Rob, over. Of the bottle top projects, I think this ground plane is my favourite. But are there any other ideas you have? If so, please leave them in the comments. Roger, roger. You are 5'9 and running 5 watts. 5 watts QRP. Over. Okay, great job for 5 watts and uh, 72 days for the call. Thank you. No QRP. Plus you QRP. Right, it was great to work. QRP. 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 I am QRP 5 watts, 73. No, 